Hello, I'm Rahul from Honeywell Lake Ventures, and today I'll be talking about surgical navigation, specifically tracking technology. On a broad level, there are several steps to computer-aided surgery. First, there is diagnostic imaging to determine the course of action, followed by preoperative imaging. From the initial scans, a 3D rendering of the patient anatomy is generated, and preoperative planning is conducted. During surgery, intraoperative imaging is conducted and surgical navigation systems utilize this imaging to track and maneuver instruments during the procedure. This is followed by the actual surgical intervention and finally postoperative imaging. Surgical navigation and methods to track the instruments are key to surgical success. There have been many distinct technological approaches that companies have been taking to instrument tracking. The most commonly used methods are optical tracking, where retroreflective markers on instruments are detected by a sensor to track the instruments, and electromagnetic tracking, where a small current is induced in markers placed on instruments and detected by a sensor determining the orientation and position of the instrument. Stereoscopic tracking, or the use of several cameras to glean information and orientation depth information, is very powerful and becoming more popular. All these methods are broadly applicable to many clinical specialties, including ENT, orthopedics, neurosurgery, interventional cardiology, and more. There are also several new novel methods like using inertial sensors, RFID tagged instruments, and sensing the bioelectric signals produced by the body. And these are being developed for navigation and show promise. The surgical navigation market is projected to grow from about 770 million US dollars in 2018 to 1.2 billion US dollars by 2024 at a CAGR of about 7.3%. The largest sector of the market is the North American market. The Asia Pacific market shows the most growth during this period by far. The main drivers of this market growth include a growing geriatric population, especially as countries in the Asia Pacific region continue developing, an increase in the number of orthopedic, neurosurgery, and ENT procedures conducted, also tied to the continued development of these countries, and finally, the large increase in the number of surgical navigation products that have gained FDA approval, CE mark status, and other regulatory clearance over the last five to 10 years. The largest barrier to the development of new surgical navigation technology is achieving idealized real-time navigation. The ability to see where instruments are in relation to anatomical structures in a safe, non-invasive, and intuitive way is extremely valuable and allows the care team to plan the entire intervention beforehand. Innovation in real-time navigation technology can lead to complete path planning of the intervention, automation of many of the subroutines performed, and robotic surgery as a means of more accurate and safe intervention. Real-time navigation decreases surgical mistakes, speeds up recovery time, and decreases time spent in the operating room. Overall, this decreases the cost for the hospital and improves the quality of care for the patient. There's a very diverse and innovative pool of solutions being developed to achieve intuitive, idealized real-time navigation. This includes new instrument tracking technologies that are low profile and resemble GPS systems within the body, augmented reality visualization of anatomical structures and instruments hidden inside the body, automatic robotic catheter navigation for cardiovascular and neurovascular procedures that use the body's own signals to navigate, and finally, technology that tracks natural landmarks of the patient in real time, adjusting the information given to the surgeons every second.